Oh no, did I kill my worms? Let me show you my worm farm. I am so excited to have these. This just brings me so much joy and I love making my worms happy. I have three worm beds and today we're going to talk about bedding. Worm bedding is one of the most important elements of upkeep in a worm farm. You need to add some type of bedding on a regular basis to keep worms happy and productive. What do they need? A combination of materials. Choosing a variety creates a good balance and 50% of a worm diet is their bedding. Here I'm adding some shredded paper. You can also use shredded cardboard, peat moss, fall leaves, wood chips, and age compost. Look at those worms. Now this bed is a little bit dry, but it's going to rain tomorrow, which caused me some issues in another bed. So I'm not going to add any moisture to this. You do want to fluff it up periodically. This keeps it from being compacted and just fluffs it up, gets that air circulating. You can see I have some old cardboard in here also. Sometimes I'll cover the worm bed with that cardboard. But the mixture you need is one part green or fresh, moist plant-based scraps and three parts brown dry material. I have these carrot tops and pieces of carrots left over from freeze drying and I'm going to chop them up. Now you could give it to the worms just like this, but the smaller the pieces that your greens are when they go in there, the easier it is to break down and quicker. Worms are very grateful for chopping of these organic materials into small pieces. Like I said, they can process it easier, more rapidly, and it does not rot. Now, when you put these fresh greens into your bed, you want to cover them up. Burying them helps um, prevent the odors that you may found, find associated with adding these um, vegetables. It also makes it easier for the worms to find, so you want to flip that soil over and cover up the green material you just added. Now do not overfeed your worms. You only want to feed them a quantity they can eat in two to three days. I usually alternate one week with my shredded paper, the next week with my greens, and I do give them some chicken crumbles, organic chicken crumbles, occasionally if I'm running low on any of those materials. Now this is the bed that I got from my 95 year old grandmother and this is the one it rained three inches this week and it is sopping wet. You do not want it this wet. A consistency of a wet sponge but look here the worms the soil is not even sticking to the worms. I'm going to go ahead and add some coffee grounds to this bed, and i also add some eggshells. Eggshells adds grit, and the worms need this grit to help grind up food inside their bodies. I add the coffee bags and all, and then here's some of those chicken crumbles. I usually crumble up the eggs to make it a little bit easier. Look how wet this bed is. Oh, this breaks my heart, but we're going to take care of it. I have a drain in here, and we're going to open up that drain and collect some worm tea, which would be great for my onions and carrots. Look at this worm tea. 
my garlic's also going to love this. I'll mix it with some more water in a five gallon bucket and just pour it straight on to the vegetable. Now this worm poop is one of the best all natural fertilizers on the planet. It can be used immediately or stored. Back to the green vegetables. What the worms dislike is an acidic environment. So never give them citrus fruit, tomatoes, large quantities of raw onion, no meat, and no oil, and no dairy. And again, you always want to cover up any green material that you add to the soil. Here I'm just covering up with some pieces of cardboard that will eventually disintegrate and the worms will use them as worm bedding. I cover with all different things. Here's a piece of a row cover. I even have some old carpet rugs that I'll lay on top, especially in the summertime, to keep the moisture in. Clay worms need a good home. They need food, they need bedding, air, and water and moderate temperatures. Now when I'm ready to collect some of this for my raised beds or my pots, I just simply skim off the top layer and put it in this basket. Sometimes I'll shake it and separate the worms, but most of the time I can get this top layer and give to them. And I put about this much in each of my four by eight raised beds. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget, check out the description below for product links and resources. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.